Hello everyone, GeekTK here. This will probably be my last video about Jones of C6 until C6 ITX version comes out. Now, in a previous video, I did a water cooling with this case. This was done with a closed loop 120 AIO. Everything did fit inside, although just barely and the temperature was 86 degrees celsius when the system was pushed a link to the video is in the description now at that time i didn't think about comparing the water cooling setup with the air cooling because i automatically assumed that water cooling would be superior maybe it is but it's always better to find out precisely by how much. So that's what this video is about. I already have a result from the water cooling setup. So I am going to set it up on air cooling with ID cooling IS67XT. There is something to note here. In the water cooling setup, air intake was from the bottom and I'm pretty sure that fresh air was mostly blocked by the GPU. In the air cooling setup, the pan setup will be different. Air will enter from the front and go out to the top with the GPU doing its own thing. I believe this airflow setup is better, at least on paper. Okay, this is the water cooling setup. A pan on the front, another on top. Let's just see how she does. So that was a bit of a letdown. The max temperature was 96 degrees Celsius. I repeat, 96 degrees Celsius. The TDP is 120 watts. Water cooling 120 AIO had it stable at 86 degrees Celsius. So the result is clear. The water cooling setup was better although it was a mess internally. I really thought that the water cooling setup would catch it, but I was wrong. Since the ambient temperature here is 19 degrees Celsius, it is quite possible that the air cooling might thermal throttle in a warmer environment. So my conclusion is that you should use a CPU that's on the 100 watt TDP just to be safe. So any CPU like a Ryzen non-X would be fine. Ryzen 7600X might just work, but that would be pushing it. Okay, that's it for this video and thank you for watching.